first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna need to do is we have to set our uh, PLC uh, that we have to enable the OPC UA server, okay, uh, on your CPU, uh, and then uh, there's some uh, some of uh, the things that you're gonna need to configure like. Um, after activate and then this is IP address that's okay by default uh, this is uh, uh, will be the IP address that we will access from the OPC UA we're gonna use from the OPC UA and then um, uh, on the secure channel uh, for the security policies uh, 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 since I don't I don't want any <clears throat> unsecured connection happen uh, uh, during communication so i choose uh, these two uh, security policies uh, basic 256 okay uh, sign and sign a crypt um, uh, but uh, i will set the user authentication for the connection so uh, i'm going to create a, a username and password for the uh, connection for the upca so uh, uh, we we will make our connection uh, safe okay more secure also and I think that's it uh, for dresses of course um, uh, you're gonna need an appropriate uh, license for the OPC UA uh, for the CPU okay now I have already uh, downloaded to my PLC simulations uh, and this one uh, currently is running so the first thing that I'm going to do, I am going to open the OPC uh, client uh, software. Uh, the This one is very, very good software process OPC uh, uh, We're going to need to test first connection to our PLC, whether we can access the OPC connection or not. So I'm going to type our PLC IP address 142 and by default the port is 4840 okay and in here it will show automatically the uh, security policies that we have set previously on the cpu and then it may show up the we're gonna uh, all is uh, type our uh, username and password and put our name password and here we go I'm okay. I'm gonna left uh, this safe password or not? Accept uh, permanently. Now the connection is successfully uh, uh, built, and in here we can see that our PLC name is PLC, and then I go to our data block, uh, and I have a data block. Uh, this one are uh, object zero one. And I'm gonna access. I have a uh, access to this tag, and then it's attribute also. Uh, wait, this is not open. Yes, like this. So to make sure that uh, this one is a correct tag, uh, we can also monitor monitor the d data here, and then also you can click and drag to the appropriate uh, to the column here and then a mode you can change here so if I change this to true for example so the uh, property here engineering engineering unit value will be shown same as what we have set on the very first value that's uh, the logic behavior uh, gonna do okay so if I change this to false it will take the directly uh, reading from the um, uh, devices so so everything is good we can see here everything is really good so now uh, we go to our uh, our uh, our system platform and make sure that you have installed the communication driver back I believe what it's called yes uh, and it will install some appropriate uh, driver for that since the OPC UA inside the gateway so we'll use the OI gateway this one okay OI.gateway.tree <clears throat> and a configuration I think it's 
by default like this so i will left this as it is if you want to increase the device group update interval you can also but i'm going to leave this as a 500 millisecond and then in here we're going to add some uh, UP, opc ua connection okay i'm going to name it as an uh, ua client something like that and the ip address that we will need to access is our plc uh, zero 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 one forty two and then uh, I'm gonna click here drop down and we'll find find out the OPC US server okay and then in here since I have an username and password that I have set previously on the PLC I'm gonna input the correct administrator and a password in here uh, test the connection if it's successfully connected it will show like this so this is a <clears throat> if uh, you want to have a namespace like mm, custom namespace so you can set uh, f uh, one of this as a default namespace for example I change this one as an namespace and as for example and I set this set as default uh, namespace and then it will set as an uh, as an uh, namespace okay default namespace something like that okay I add as OPC UA group okay I guess it will save it and then this is the uh, group maybe we call this uh, group zero one or group uh, whatever whatever you want to name it okay I make it as a 500 same as um, uh, previous that we have configured in the configuration okay I'm gonna save it yeah same here device group interval okay we go get go, go go back to our group 01 and if it's successfully connected if I browse the OPC item from here I press the browse OPC US server it will show in uh, dialog something like this sure so I can browse the item from here and I go to data global block global and this one I'm gonna focus this first so here you can see that if I type an S it will show an reference like this okay so uh, here we go select everything and add to list uh, but first let me just see everything is good yep okay uh, I'm gonna focus on this device first um, and then you can add later on okay now every th every item that we have selected it will really shown here but in here we don't want to search uh, like uh, this long long name something like this right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna export this list I said UA client items I'm gonna change this so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm, I'm gonna change the name but I will left uh, I will leave the item reference name as uh, as it is okay so I'm gonna change only this side only Okay, so I'll go here and copy this. I want to replace everything in here, and then I'm gonna replace the double quotes to this. Okay, so we can see much clear. Okay, much clear representation of a text. Okay, then I save it. Yes. Okay. So. I'm gonna clear all and then I will import again the item that I have changed previous okay now it's good everything is good so I just demand read so it will uh, if if on this change it will uh, change it will read only uh, when it the values change so it much uh, saving our 
connection bandwidth okay I save it and I will close this I'll go to my orchestra ID okay I've already created an object actually from previous uh, previous uh, video you can you can watch the video but uh, mm, I've already created an object in here so and then I've already add some instance also I already create instance from this object uh, it's shown here yep this one okay so there is a question uh, there is exclamation mark here it said that uh, this is uh, not mapping uh, not mapping correctly yet okay every I'm gonna show a while a little bit so yeah this is an attribute that we need to map to our RPC uh, items okay so uh, that's why currently there's no mapping uh, have been done we need to uh, map it uh, these attributes to our uh, RPC connections RPC UA connection okay now I'm going to close this uh, I'm going to create the RPC from RPC client instance so basically the OPC UA client is, has been done on the, uh, in the DC device integration uh, on the uh, SMC okay uh, on in here in here so after it uh, after it get uh, all the items it's uh, gathered collected on the OIS so it translated to the uh, uh, PC that can be read from the orchestra ID. So in here, uh, maybe I just need to create some new name, like uh, just say obviously our UA client, something like that. I'm gonna open it. Okay, now the this is uh, our uh, server name. We'll get her. So since we have using the gateway, we are going to use the this one gateway, okay? And then the secure group in here. Maybe I will create like uh, G. Uh, um, yeah, what is it? Whatever. And then maybe I just set this as five hundred. And in here, the item reference if we go here i will go to the maybe like uh, uh, i click this and i search the ua items that we have gathered previously so you, you can see here all the items it's shown here so i'm gonna do i'm um, select so i will press the shift and then select all of this and add all the items okay and since we need the attribute uh, 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 same as the our instance uh, name um, so we need to uh, rename all of this so so it's much easier to export the list first so I've got to export the list uh, uh, orchestra uh, UA attributes something like that okay we're gonna open that one okay then I'm gonna remove everything from here okay first we have to remove okay since our instance name doesn't have a, a dash so we'll change this as a change the dash to underscores okay so we change dash to underscores in here 
okay now it's perfect i'm gonna close this save save it okay yes and then we we'll go back we we'll go back to our ide and i remove everything and then i import best on the csv file that we have uh, modified previously okay now perfect okay everything is good so i just uh, check this in and i'm gonna assign this to our engine first okay and i'm gonna deploy this okay now uh, if you see in here the IO device there is um it will create uh, a, a tree based on that we have created on the UA client so what we need, need to do is we map this instance to this group and if if everything is okay if everything mapped correctly the uh, there is a, a, a exclamation mark previously shown um, it will be gone so now it will be mapped correctly like this okay so uh, we're gonna check our SMC whether it's it's if any error shown here no so everything is okay I think and then we're gonna deploy this. Yep. And I will go to my this is just as a uh, as a example. Okay, this is just an example. So I uh, just create a simple interface that uh, will represent our value show okay it's shown like this okay if this already mapped correctly and uh, see the attributes everything is okay and let me go to runtime yep you can see that uh, everything is good in here so if I uh, maybe we can test our with our PLC program here. Okay. Well, yeah, well for example, uh, on the mode mode, I set this value as true. For example, and okay. I have a password here. So true. Yep. So now the value shown here as uh, what I pass by pass value here. So I change by pass value here. Fifteen. And if I set as five. And if I set this as uh, fifty or twenty-five. So there's no alarm. So that's how the OPC regulation. Uh, can set con uh, configuration from there so everything is good thanks for watching uh bye